What should I start with in this first segment? But it is New Japan. Uh, I decided to hold off the NXT review for a little bit later on. But uh, Wrestle Kingdom 17 at the Tokyo Dome. One of a handful of shows. There's WrestleMania. There's All Out. There's the CMLL and AAA anniversary shows. And there's this. You know, they're the five biggest shows of the year, arguably. You know, there's a times where SummerSlam or Forbidden Door or whatever. Somebody's going to disagree. I don't care. The two big news items coming out of this show... Sasha Banks and Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay in their match. But Mercedes Monet and uh, Dom, go ahead, get it ready. Because, folks, there's a reason I'm playing this whole thing. So uh, when Don, Dom gets it ready here, uh, here it goes. Oh, congratulations on making history tonight. I also know a thing uh, tonight. about making history. I am here in New Japan and stardom to make some more. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the standard, the conversation, the blueprint, and the CEO of this woman's division. So Kyrie san enjoy your IWGP Women's Championship while you can, because that battle in the valley in San Jose, I'm going to leave you bankrupt, bitch. And you can bank on money. You're right. It wasn't perfect. Kyrie didn't know how to take that gory suplex uh, spun into a DDT that Sasha does. And Mercedes had a, a bunch of verbiage to say there and sounded like her nose and ears were a little bit clogged. And, you know, the thing is, though, she did come off as a big star. And that's the bottom line. And the hair and the music, which seemed to use a crisscross sample, that's all subjective, but... This was just one to grow on. And bottom line is there's matches if they want them with Kyrie, with Tom Nakano, with Mayu Iwatani, with Julia, with Utami Hayashishida, Starlight Kid. I guess Mina Shirakawa has thrown her name into the mix. And the matches is, is what we all kind of want to see, I think. And there's a lot of people, of course, as usual on social media who are reacting way too strongly on both sides of the spectrum when it came to her debut, way too emotional on both sides. But, you know, Sasha stands and, and those people who stand up for WWE and anything outside of it is, is garbage. Well, you know, those people are going at it, surely. Uh, but, you know, people are also complaining about the length of the women's match itself. And I know that Julia had some comments to say about, you know, any relationship with new Japan, they don't want to feel second rate. They don't want to feel like they're walking behind a new Japan wrestler. And Kyrie defeated Nakano to retain the IWGP world women's title. The first defense, it went five fifty seven bell to bell. So it was really more of an exhibition of what women's wrestling can be on big New Japan shows as opposed to what stardom really can offer. But Kyrie won with the insane flying elbow after a couple of spinning back fists. And Nakano did hit the uh, violet screwdriver, which re looked really cool, got a, a big pop and everything. But the whole entrance of Sasha Banks took a couple of minutes and then you had the promo and everything. And when you look at the other matches that were on the show, especially early, you know, the IWGP tag match went 10, 10, the junior tag match went 10, 29, Zack Sabre jr. And Ren Narita went 10, 32 Tonga and Anderson went nine 36. The six man with Mudo went nine 20. They didn't have long matches. It didn't get into double digits until the end there, you know, again, uh, until the end of the, the show with those last three matches. So when you include everything else that took place, they got as much time 
you know, for their segment as everybody else did. It's just that, you know, you had Mercedes Monet making her big debut, and that's something that you have to sacrifice. And I think the people that are really fired up about this and using this as a tea leaf as to the treatment of women's wrestling in New Japan, I think maybe jumping the gun a little bit, but, you know, we'll have to see how things go. Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay and Kazuchika Okada and Jay White. <laughs> I said it on Twitter uh, earlier today that there was nothing that White and Okada could do because even if there was something creative that was done with their creative leading into this match and in the last six months, frankly, um, it still would have been tough because they're great together and they played all the hits and they had a hell of a match. It's just that Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega is fresh, Omega making his big comeback, and they were looking to take, not steal, you know, they were going in there thinking they were the main event and they were going to take their rightful spot, and that's certainly what they did. Omega's entrance was something out of like a Cecil B. DeMille 50s Hollywood Bible epic I mean, complete with a whole musical score to it. You know, he really was the bad guy, the returning supervillain coming back and looking at this scorched earth in his opinion that he's left in the wake of going to do great things and he left it to Will Ospreay to take care of. And my God, look what's happened. And the story of this match playing itself out the entire time with Omega and Ospreay throwing everything at each other, but Ospreay just not being able to throw enough. And he comes out and he's got his whole crew with him. And he's playing the part. He looks the part. But you heard it at the press conference, if anybody heard any of that. Omega immediately under his skin, just by calmly talking to him, needling him, knowing that Osprey maybe isn't ready in storyline for the position that he's in. He is weak. And here comes Kenny Omega walking back in first day and takes his title away from him. And they did everything in this match there was the double foot stomp off the turnbuckle by omega onto osprey on the floor through a table there was osprey's corkscrew flying twister press <laughs> down to the floor on omega not long after that once they got back into the ring you know they they started hitting each other again with moves Incredible stuff. Osprey flipping through a dragon suplex from off the top rope and then immediately hitting a Robinson special. There was Omega DDTing Osprey onto the exposed top turnbuckle, which busted Osprey open. A hell of a blade job there, and that's when the drama really started to crank up. Omega was really feeling himself. Red shoes, they're checking the cut. The announcers are wondering how long it's going to go, and Omega's hitting big move after big move after big move. And Osprey is still somehow surviving. Second rope, Kreutz Wrath. Two count, V-trigger, two count, two V-triggers, and then a third, but Osprey blocked it, fired up, came back, got a near fall after a hidden blade in, a, in an Oz cutter, hit a Styles Clash and a really stiff-looking hidden blade for another uh, uh, two count. He did everything, but Omega got him down, and as he held both of his arms up, Osprey all bloodied, looked up, and he spit at him, and Kenny Omega, in perfect form to do it, Called back to Kota Ibushi, hits a Kamigoye knee strike. The one-winged angel wins the match. And unfortunately, like I mentioned, there was nothing Jay White or Kazuchika Okada could do to follow that. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew... Apparently as a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.